<laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, really? A book? <laughs> you mean it's a book? It's I not original? Know. I can't believe that. Um, I thought it was better with the songs in. <laughs> I just heard the original. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Philip right, Gale, ladies and gentlemen, he's throughout the show. Yay. That's a guarantee. Do a round of applause. My, my uh, wife's sister got married on Saturday. Right. And, uh, and I found myself boring the old oh, after a few drinks. Nice. <laughs> uh, and, I, you know, and I've, I've, I think I've really overindulged because I've got really just bad digestive system all the way through. Woke up four times in the night just reaching for my settler's tums. And that's, that's on Sunday as well. Such bad indigestion. I really red wind it. Uh, so I've got really hot pipes all the way through today. I'm not really good. looking forward to sitting not here good, with not, you for Not two good hours. at all. I'm really in, in, in bad fettle. How about you? What was your weekend? Uh, like? Well, worked up in uh, Manchester. That's nice, because I know once you finish 10 hours of live entertainment, mm. Britain's only live entertainment show, it's on daily. <laughs> Labour the point. Uh, the one thing I always feel like on a Friday is a whole weekend's work. <laughs> so you must have been uh, you must be really thrilled with yeah, that. Yeah, pip pipped, I was. Yeah, really? It was terrific though. And then went out on Canal Street in uh, Manchester on Saturday. Hey. Hey. And let me tell you, I'd uh, had a few sherbets. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. End up with anyone under your arm like that? Of telling him they're your best pal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't do that to anyone this time round. Uh, Although I did get the gen on a fella called Terry in the ladies' toilet. The gen? Wow. <laughs> well, there was two women chatting about uh, this particular Sally. fella. Obviously, the woman that in question now is very upset that I mentioned mm. it. But I felt like I, I just, knew her. It just felt like you knew her and yeah. you had to do that. So I had to wait to have a look at her when she came out. Do you know what? Bright is in the house this morning. Bright is back with us. Oh, yeah. Did you have a nice weekend, Brighty? Yeah, it was a good weekend. Can I just say, Brighty, I saw you on Football Focus on, uh, on Saturday morning. Did, did you see, did you want to see Brighty do his uh, interview with Carlton Palmer? Really good television there, Brighty. I've got to tell you, that was Thank some you. of the best ten minutes of television over the weekend. Mark Bright, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to tell you, he is coming of age as a broadcaster. Can I <laughs> Except no substitute. You lounging there next to that Christmas tree, dressed like you are. This is a pipe and slipper. It's Christmas. almost Val Happy Christmas. Dunican, it's just sincerely it, really? Mark. <laughs> it's Val Dunican in the house. Also, Big Breakfast fans uh, will, be, will be delighted to hear that uh, Linton is back with us. Uh, Linton, you, you were absent all last week. What, what was the story? What happened? I heard a foot injury. Nat I had a foot. gout. No, I had a gammy foot and it wasn't gout. It, it wasn't in my joints. It wasn't in your joints. The doctor said it couldn't be. Gout. It wasn't gout. 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 Problem with his joints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what's, what's, what's been wrong? You're off for a whole week know. with a foot injury. Put me on antibiotics and yet I saw you gone. running around with a monitor this morning, so the foot recovered. The foot's recovered, yeah. But you have got that big I've shoe I've even got a doctor's on, note. Have you got a doctor's note? Yeah, it's right here. Let's show the viewers the doctor's, the doctor's note. There it is. Up to camera, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, doctor's note. The legal... Oh, 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 yeah. I, know, I know Benny's got a blank pad of those. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why about that. Anyway, Linton's back there. John Linton in the house this morning. You and uh, in one of a mincer. Ooh. We got some mince, oh, mince pies. You know what's lovely? Sent in by... Somebody sent us some mince pies. Oh, sent in by Henrietta Willis from Oxford, wanted to give us an early dose of Christmas cheer. Her secret ingredient for a tasty pie, we're going to be covering these secret ingredients all week, uh, is her cold hands. <laughs> apparently, cold hands do not melt the butter. She's got very cold hands. And is that, that an really... adage? Apparently, that helps. It helps with. Uh... So is that some old wives' wor words of wisdom? Could... No, I think it's just her. Oh, I think right. it's just her, her big tip. <laughs> oh, um, right. We'll be testing those throughout the show. In fact, Linton, you're welcome back there. Uh, let's just try some of these. Uh... <laughs> try a pie. Presumably she hasn't slipped any hallucinogenic drugs. Hasn't maliciously slipped any hallucinogenic drugs in. You should be all right there. What are they like? It's all right. Should be all right. Like? Is it a nice pie? It's a nice pie. Would you like to try a pie, then? Thank you. It's nice and light. Oh, uh, can we just say, get well soon to Sturdy's brother as well. Yeah. Mm, yeah, uh, he's in bed for a while, he's hurt himself, hasn't he? Get well soon. Get is that a nice mince pie? That's lovely. Mince so thank you very much for those mince pies. That's really well. You might have just seen the uh, top of the Family of the Week's heads there. They are the Niname. Yeah. Yeah. What was that name? Like is? That's a comic. Niname. The Niname. Yeah. Niname, Niname, Niname. We'll, be getting, we'll be getting to the bottom of that and several other things later with you. Yeah. <laughs> and if all of these mincers are not enough to make your tummy rumble, let's Jeez, find out where our happy wanderer, Richard Bacon, and has found oh, it. Your God. Do you see what I'm up against? Oh, yes. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Here's Richard Bacon in bulk. Are you there, Rich? Yes, I am, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much on, on, on the colder, blustery uh, streets of Northern England this morning uh, to bring you the story of a man, a passionate man, a man uh, whose obsession with his hobby nearly drove him to the edge of a destruction. This is a man who was so preoccupied with something for eight months that his wife nearly left him. Later on, we'll meet his wife, she'll tell us that. Uh, now, but uh, I've got to be a bit vague because I'm going to wake him up and if I tell you too much, it would ruin the element of surprise uh, that we need for later on. But I can tell you this, today on the outside broadcast, we're going to try and rid this man of this dangerous element within his life. 
with this obsession. And we're going to play a game that involves this. Now, if you're a bit clever, you might work out kind of what the story's about today. This is it. Bring it in. It's a game that involves this. It's a giant jigsaw of me. That's face and oh shirt God. there. That's it. Uh, so join us later on for that. Uh, live in Bolton. Uh, meanwhile, back to Johnny. Thank you very much indeed, Richard Bacon. How are you today, Richie? Yeah, very well, fine. Bit, bit, of a, bit of a rough night in the hotel, actually. I couldn't really get much sleep. And, uh, it was, oh, it was a second. job... Be quiet. Keep it down over there. We're doing, yeah. a, lot. We're doing a live aye, show over here. Aye, aye. Um, aye, aye. Sorry, in case you haven't noticed down there, we're on live ten hours a week, yeah? Britain's only live entertainment daily show. Uh, you carry on making your coffee. Uh, Bacon, you say yes. bad treatment last night in the hotel? Actually, I mean, it was, it, was a kind of, it was a pleasant hotel. It was called the Jarvis Hotel. Uh, but actually, I just slept very badly, and I don't know why that was. Do you know, I had a bad um, night's sleep myself last night. even got an early night, and I was up at one, first of all, when the first... Yeah. 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 You're absolutely right. It yeah. might be, it can't be good. It was just indigestion, I think. Um, well, listen, thank you very much. Later on, I want you to name and shame wherever you were staying and, uh, and, and all that. Yes. I will do. Leave it with me. Richard Bacon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Britain's finest outside broadcast... Um, <laughs> <laughs> team he works with. Um, time now for a chat on the one subject that really matters to me over Monday morning. This week, not so much. Uh, it's time for Brighty, ladies and gentlemen. Brighty! Right. Well, as I said, well done for your football focusing. I just want to say it was fantastic. It was one of the best. Those pre it wasn't licky, it was informative. You got the best out of Carlton Palm, which yeah. I've never seen before. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Well done, Mark Bright. Thank you. Uh, a gold pack weekend's football, uh, but stay with us. Don't get all high tea, no, flighty. No, of course not. Come and on. Stay on the BBC now and just Keep wave goodbye to your Channel 4 friends who've made you what you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you footballers are like, any chance to move to a bigger club in Europe? Like, I'll tell you what, they don't come any bigger in television. Uh, and, and the big break. So this, right. is, this is a big club here. The day they manage a live two out, all right. Uh, a gold pack weekend. Sunderland and Chelsea. Uh, that's the we've had a uh, lot of goals this weekend. Sunderland, Chelsea, 4 1. Man United, Everton, 5 1. Yeah. Wimbledon, Watford, 5 0. Leicester City, Arsenal. First time Leicester lost at home, 0 uh, 3. What's your pick of that bunch, Brighty? Have a guess. Hey. Must be Man United. Sunderland, Chelsea. 4 Chelsea, 1. What happened there, Brighty? It was awful. I mean, I was watching it. I mean, they just never got going. Sunderland really pressed them and, and closed them down and snapped. I think it had a lot to do with, obviously, the opening day of the season. You know, the, the humiliation. And they've just reversed it now. I know. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking to you for some answers, I mean. I'm looking to you for some. Come on, yeah. This isn't gonna I mean, they're, they're, Come on, you know, This isn't going to be a very good interview, then. <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's a midweek game coming up, and there's a... Obviously, We've got Lazio this week. Lazio. But what and is the Champions deal? They're doing League. so well in Europe, and they're, not, they're just yeah. not trying. Did you, did you see what Viola said? It's easier to play in Europe. Maybe because the players they've got, they like time on the ball. And in Europe, you know, you have the ball for a while, we'll have it for a while. We'll, everyone plays deep, you know, there's lots of space. But someone really condensed it and made it really hard. And it was, oh, oh it was, yeah. it was all, I mean, they've lost five games already. They only lost three in the total of last year, Chelsea. Stop getting at me! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, well, obviously, I, I thought they would do it this year. Everyone thought they'd do it. I thought they would do it. Sunderland. Sunderland are doing well. Sunderland and the thing is, is that there was me last week picking it up for Peter Reid, telling yeah. my favourite manager. But I can't yeah. tell you, I have to stick to that opinion that I think Peter Reid, what Excellent. a job he's doing up there. Excellent. Actually, I mean, the best English manager at the moment. I mean, we haven't got many yeah. good English managers I don't left. Think he smiled either. I mean, was watching the game down there. And that's exactly how it should be. That's what we want: grim faced people <laughs> <laughs> in cold yeah. northeastern locations well, after nice. sensational wins, looking even more grim. And that's what football should be about. I think Chelsea fans have resigned themselves to the fact that they're not going to win the title, but now they're keeping their fingers crossed for the. Well, it's looking like the only way we're going to get actually in the European Champions League yeah. is by winning it. Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's and have a look at the goals. You look at yeah. them. Right. If you're a Chelsea fan, look away. If you're a Sunderland fan, enjoy look. this yeah. once more. Here we go. Right. Bring it on. Trying to sort themselves out, and it's the returning skipper who does so to a degree. This is a wonderful break, and Quinn has scored after the run by Eric Waugh. What a start! Quinn falls away to the far post, he's got between the two defenders. Fine save, Phillips! Coming down to Quinn, yes! That's a good header! And it's been coming, and boy, it won the good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just, it is so depressing. It was. 
Yeah. Really, it's, not, it's not good preparation. No, all, all it's depressing for me is, like, you know, you see, you know, that Peter Reid is obviously uh, such a great manager. He spent less on his side. I mean, it must be so painful for Newcastle this as well to have Sunderland on such a roll, having spent yeah. so much less than they spent. Yeah. Well, it's frustrating for everyone, but it's a lesson for everyone about football. It's about teamwork, not individuals. If you got, you can have as many millionaire individuals as you like, but if they don't add up to a team, it doesn't add up to anything. Dippity. No. Great big <laughs> hole in the sky. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the week's top five goals as voiced over by Mark Bright. Here we go. Righty. Sheffield Wednesday's Nicholas Alexanderson fired his team into the lead against Liverpool with this thunderbolt. But Steven Gerrard had other ideas with this fantastic solo run through the heart of the Wednesday defence. Poetry in motion. It was turned into a Liverpool showcase of spectacular goals. This time, David Thompson's brilliant goal matched his teammate in every way. The Premiership's number one goal scorer on target yet again on Saturday, scoring his 16th goal of the season. Watch it and weep, Vaughan. But this week's number one was Marcus Gale, the crazy gang. The goal speaks for itself. What a beauty. Sweet. Sweet as, sweet as a. Now he must have been thinking, as it went in, he must have been thinking, sweet. Hey! Because that was Mr. Nice. Sweetness, sweetly. Uh, do you know what? Let's take a look at the pressure cooker very quickly. Ooh, pressure. Number three, we've got Jim oh, Bragasola. And rightly so, he hasn't scored since the first day of the season. season. Uh, a great support player, though, at all times, although obviously not so much. He's playing, um, playing really well in Europe, though, Vaughan. Yeah. He's turning some great performances, but. Do you know what? You, you come uh, up to the you halfway got, stage. You I'm, a, I'm a fan of the home game. I really am. Well, you are, obviously. I, I That's like, all you I, see. I, I, I really get excited uh, when Chelsea play you know, it, it, English sides, not, not so much European sides. I like the European games, but it's nothing for me. Uh, can any, to, uh, compared to any Premiership game? clash whatsoever. I'd rather see you Chelsea play mad. Bradford than Lazio. It's kind of guy. Rubbish. I would. Rubbish. I would do. I would do because that's what it's about. Don't you see? I'm keeping it real, Brighton. <laughs> Champions of Europe. <laughs> no, silence. Um, <laughs> two, Graham Taylor. Why Taylor? Yeah. They're taking some... Look at his eyes, though. Eyes. His eyes. His eyes. They're, they're, taking, they're taking some hammerings. I thought, that, you know, with his organisation skills, they'd be doing a lot better this year. But another side of beating Chelsea. Y yeah, and Liverpool. But they, they, they're taking some hammerings, they're conceding threes and fours, and at the weekend they got turned over big style by... You're saying they're going down? I th not just, not quite <laughs> yet, but they're, they're really struggling. They're really struggling. Really struggling. Yeah. It needs to get a bit of team spirit going there. Yeah. Number one. Look at him! Oh, oh, he's, 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 he's worried, he's worried. You can see he's worried, you can see he's worried. Yeah. Uh, John Gregg, as you know, he's one of our favourite humans yeah. down here on the Big Breakfast. We're big fans of John Gregg. What's the problem This there? time last year, riding high, top of the league yeah. now. They're struggling, I think, three points out of the last nine games. Well, it's better than Chelsea, we got beat, Yeah, they got beat 1-0 at the weekend. Deadly Dog's given the vote of confidence, as we all know, Deadly Dog. Yeah. And um, the, the papers are getting this momentum thing for, for a game sack. They court. smell blood, don't they? And they're yeah, in there. and so they're, they're Villa, Aston Villa are really Shit. struggling at the moment. And he's the man at the hill. OK, listen, thank you very much indeed. Mark Bright, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.